What prompted you to want to start directing and producing, and has it changed your approach to acting? Ah, good question. Um, Tick suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Um, I, hmm, I love actors, and I love telling stories, and. Um, Sometimes, I'd been doing it so long and I think I wanted uh, to challenge myself in a different way. And directing is a completely different part of your brain. And uh, I am still so challenged by it and I love it so much. And when I'm doing it, I always think I even love it more than acting to get to tell a story in such a whole way and craft something in such a beautiful way with different, a different skill set and, and to learn like visual language and what what are the little things that, that tell a story and just the little moments that you can find on a day um, was, was just so in, inspiring to me. And then it, I did, I, I started reading scripts differently after I read it and I'm never, ever, ever, ever being late again. <laughs> you're on the set and if a director's late, you're like, oh, you're cutting into my day. <laughs> and so um, it, it's funny, you just look at everything differently because you're, you're in charge of everything, even though you're working with this incredible crew and this incredible group of, of experts. And it's funny because when we're acting, I, when I'm acting, I'm sort of in my lane. I stay in my lane and I'm, I'm, I got acting brain on. But when you're directing and you're re relying all all these different uh, kinds of artists, whether it's the sound guy or the camera operator or the prop guy or the wardrobe lady, you just, I'm always so blown away of, of who I get to work with every day.